Hey everyone, myself Neha Gupta, your mentor for current affairs. So you would know that last time we could not complete the July session because of some technical errors. So here in this session we will be covering the questions of July spotlight that were remaining in the last time session. Okay. So let's begin this video. But before that, if you haven't subscribed our channel, then do subscribe and hit the bell notification. And you can also join our Telegram group where you will get the free PDFs of our sessions. So here is the first question, which has become the world's first crypto exchange with multi-signature and backup in space. The right answer is BTU India, whose autobiography is titled as The Stranger in the Mirror. So it is Rakesh Om Prakash Mehra and he is a film maker. Which university organized the World University Summit? So OP Jindal University is the right answer, which is in India. Madhya Pradesh has launched UNESCO Her Historic Urban Landscape Project to protect the heritage resources of its two cities. Name the cities. So the right answer is Gwalior and Orcha, which are the two World Heritage UNESCO World Heritage Cities. Apart from these two, India has Jaipur and Ahmedabad. So India has a total of four cities that are a part of UNESCO World Heritage cities and 40 World Heritage sites in India. So we will discuss about this thing later on when the question comes in this session. But for the time being, you need to know that India has four World Heritage cities, Jaipur, Ahmedabad, Gwalior and Orcha. Both of them are in Madhya Pradesh. Where is World's 3D printed steel pedestrian bridge located so it is located in Amsterdam which is in Netherlands which country has launched world's largest ca ca uh, carbon emission emission trading platform so it is China China has launched this platform I hope that you remember the associated facts with the news with the questions that I am reading out here the next question is which country has harvested world's first batch of space rice which is also known as rice from heaven in the country. So again, it is China. Okay, so before moving ahead, let me tell you uh, that this space rice traveled to the space in change five uh, mission of China. So do remember the mission as well. Which of the following project has been launched by NSE Foundation in partnership with Niti Aayog and UNICEF to spread awareness on COVID-19 vaccination in India? So remember, five aspirational districts are being targeted under this project, which is named as Project Kavach. So under this Project Kavach, five aspirational districts are being targeted by NSE Foundation, which is the CSR compliant arm or the arm of NSE that has been formed to fulfill the obligations of CSR on behalf of National Stock Exchange. Which of the following country has recently joined the International Solar Alliance? So it is Sweden. After joining Sweden, uh, ISA, now the total number of countries that have ratified and signed this ISA is 79. And the countries that have only signed this ISA is 98 and both of them include Sweden. So S Sweden has ratified ISA as well. How many people are being targeted through UN's first ever resolution on vision by 2030? So it is 1.1 billion. Who is the author of Bank with a Soul Equitas book? It is C.K. Gariali. As per the sustainable recovery tracker, carbon dioxide emissions will hit record levels in 2023 as the government efforts towards cleaning energy are towards clean energy are minimal. The sustainable recovery tracker has been recently launched by which of the following organizations? So the right answer is International Energy Agency. Recently, UN's Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change has also released a report which states that in all scenarios by 2050, the world will attain 1.5 degree Celsius temperature. So this is the red code warning that the UN's IPCC has released for the humanity. 
so do remember this as well that this report is released by un ipcc and this is basically the sixth assessment report of ipcc with which company has science and engineering Bo research board sarb partnered for finding solutions for clean energy affordable healthcare and clean aviation under the fund for industry research engagement initiative the right answer is ge so this initiative was launched with intel and now ge has also been on boarded on this fire initiative of sarb which of the following article was inserted into the constitution of india through 97th constitutional amendment so remember this amendment was uh, brought uh, for protecting the cooperative societies in india and recently supreme court has quashed some of its provisions that's why it was in the news so which article was inserted uh, through this 97th constitutional amendment so the article is 191 so 191 was inserted into this uh, constitutional amendment which iit has launched the first innovation technology innovation hub to find cyber security solutions for anti drone technologies intrusion detection system blockchain and cyber physical system so it is iit kanpur c3 i hub is also located in iit kanpur which undertakes the operations related to cyber security basically it innovates on technologies that can boost cyber security so do remember this hub is also located in iit kanpur how many countries are a part of uncdf's agritech challenge so uncdf capital development fund is the full form of uncdf so how many countries are partners uh are a part of this agritech challenge seven three from asia four from asia uh, four, four from africa the countries from asia also include india okay the purpose of this agritech challenge is to basically promote startups that are in the in the field of agri uh, agriculture and promote technology and mechanization in the agriculture field and the overall the overarching purpose of this challenge is to bring sustainable development is to promote sustainable development so that is the overall purpose which has become the first country in the world to approve the commercial production of genetically modified golden rice so it is philippines remember this uh, golden rice contains beta carotene which is very important because it is converted into vitamin a in the human body and philippines is one country that is suffering with childhood blindness so this is the major problem in philippines and therefore uh, in order to curb this problem this golden rice is Uh, is basically commercially approved by the government of philippines which country is developing world's first waterless molten salt reactor china we have already discussed thorium is used in this reactor where is the sela tunnel located it is in arunachal pradesh with between which two countries does the bay of biscay lie so recently ins tabar reached french port known as brest for a bilateral maritime exercise so that bilateral exercise took place in the bay of biscay now where is it it is between france and spain so remember this thing the exercise took place between india and france so ins tabar went to french port and in the bay of biscay both the navies conducted this exercise there was no name of the exercise it was just a bi bilateral maritime exercise which sector of the society does the smile scheme of the ministry of social justice and empowerment cater to so it was launched for beggars the tenure of this scheme is 5 years 2025 to 2026 till 2025 to 2026 this scheme will work and the total allocation under this scheme is 182 crores the purpose is the upliftment and rehabilitation of beggars where is 
the veer bhadra temple a recently selected adarsh samarak site located so it is located in andhra pradesh remember this adarsh samarak site is a government scheme under which the uh, monuments or the uh, special sites are selected so that their care can be taken off uh, taken care of they can be maintained properly so you need to cover this adarsh samarak scheme very thoroughly for your examination where is the rudreshwar temple which is also known as ramappa temple so now you would know where is it located ramappa temple or rudreshwar temple located it is located in telangana so it it is the 39th unesco world heritage site where will the ministry of science and technology set up a first of its kind center for bio resources and sustainable development as a center of excellence for promoting organic products of the north east region papum pare district is the right answer so this district is in arunachal pradesh which of the following institutes get the status of institute of national importance through the national institute of food technology entrepreneurship and Man uh, management bill 2021 so the right answer is option d national institute of food technology entrepreneurship and management in kundali and thanjavur both of these institutes will get the status of institute of national importance by virtue of this bill which country has the highest number of unesco's world heritage sites so it is italy followed by italy the country is china so italy and china are the two countries that have more than 50 world heritage sites four countries france spain germany and india have 40 basically india has 40 and all these three countries have more than 40 uh, world heritage sites so all these four countries are called brown countries basically this is a classification that has been given to them in officially so unofficially so india has entered the super 40 club when dhola vira got the world heritage site tag so this dhola vira is a harappan site located in gujarat and it has got the world heritage site from unesco it became the 40th world heritage site of india and because of this achievement india entered into the so super 40 club so do remember this thing as well and italy and china are the uh, countries that have the most uh, the highest number of world heritage sites in which state is the green sohra reforestation campaign located by uh, sorry launched by union home minister so sohra refers to cherapunji if you know where cherapunji is then you definitely know the answer of this question so it is in meghalaya the right answer is meghalaya this is basically an afforestation campaign where did the 12th edition of indra exercise take place so indra is basically an army exercise whenever you are doing any kind of exercise you need to know that which force take place in that uh, exercise which military force takes place in that exercise so in indra army takes place uh, army participates so it is conducted between india and russia and it was held in volgograd which is a russian city do remember and it was the 12th edition which company is nasa part nasa's partner in the europa clipper mission so it is spacex europa is the jupiter's moon so this clipper mission is going to study the uh, jupiter's moon which is named as europa what is the new limit of personal loans available for bank directors and their family members so the new limit is 5 crore earlier the limit was 25 lakhs okay so now the limit has been increased to 5 crores which of the following is the first city in india to provide 24/7 drinking water facility it is puri remember puri in odisha the cm of odisha navin patnaik launched sujal scheme recently and by launching this scheme the purpose of this scheme is to provide 24/7 water supply in puri so the scheme has been launched recently and this is basically the target of this scheme okay which iit has collaborated with the minister of information and broadcasting for establishing national center of excellence for Anim animation visual effects 
गेमिंग एंड कॉमिक्स सो इट इज आई आई टी बॉम्बे विच ऑफ दी फॉलोइंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज द नॉलेज पार्टनर ऑफ स्मार्ट सिटीज मिशन इन इम्प्लीमेंटिंग द इंडिया साइकिल्स फॉर चेंज चैलेंज सो द राइट आंसर इज इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन एंड डेवलपमेंट पॉलिसी द इंडियन आर्म of this institution this institution is a us based institution and remember there is another challenge transport for change in that challenge also this organization is partnering with the ministry of housing and urban affairs where is paseo del prado boulevard located so this is basically a, a structure inside and retiro park so this is a structure and a retiro park both of these locations are very near to each other and both of them have got the world heritage site tag so uh, where are these located so they are located in spain do remember this thing now all of these world heritage site uh, accreditations were given during the 44th meeting of unesco world heritage committee guys i am asking you a question where was this committee's meeting held where was the 44th session of unesco world heritage site world heritage committee took place tell me in the comment section below which country has developed the world's first affordable and effective new drug for hepatitis c named ravidesvir so which country has developed it it is malaysia malaysia has developed this uh, drug for hepatitis c where when is the world mangrove day observed so it is observed on july 26 which organization is giving a special prize of 5 lakh to the winners of phosphor gov uh, phosphor gov in innovative challenge so this is for for government in innovation challenge the right answer is option a omidya network india this challenge was launched so that startups and individual inno innovators as well can innovate on solutions related to cmr and you have enterprise resource resource planning uh, software so these are two kinds of softwares that are used in the management so that uh, efficiency can be achieved so these are the two softwares and in order to provide innovative solutions regarding these two softwares this fos for government innovation challenge was launched by the government so that the new innovative challenge uh, innovative solutions can be deployed in the sector of health and other education as well which state has launched the devaranya yojana so it is launched in madhya pradesh now the purpose of the scheme is basically to promote ayush sector plus tourism so it is termed as wellness tourism they are going to do uh, basically they are going to plant ornamental as well as ayush uh, the plants that are very ayurvedic that are medicinal in nature and in such a way these plants will be uh, planted so that the beauty of the surrounding areas can be enhanced so tourism will be enhanced as well as uh, medicinal plants will be uh, planted so that is the purpose of this devaranya yojana which of the following indian navy ship has participated in the exercise cutlass so the right answer is ins talwar so this exercise cutlass took place between 12 eastern african countries plus uk plus us plus india plus international organizations like international maritime organization and different different organizations only the countries are important uk us india along with 12 uh eastern african countries participated in this exercise cutlass and remember the purpose was to train the uh, train these countries in naval operations so india took uh india participated in this exercise in the role of a trainer which indian military force conducted the armex 2021 so it is basically a himalayan skiing exercise and it was uh, 
held by it was conducted by indian army which bank has launched dukandar over draft scheme for small retailers so the scheme was launched by hdfc bank recently skylo has partnered with national federation of fishers cooperatives in india fish cop fed to improve the safety of fishermen increase their profitability and bolster the ecosystem sustainability skylo will provide iot based solutions to marine fishing and aquaculture sectors including monitoring oxygen and ph level of water in ponds across the state states aquaculture and inland fisheries and enhancing fish yields and profitability for fish farmers fish cop fed is a national federation of fisheries fisheries cooperatives and the apex institution of uh, indian fisheries cooperative movement when was the fish cop fed established so so the right answer here is 1980 it was set up in 1980 and the major purpose is to uh, lead the cooperative movement in the field of fisheries in the sector of fisheries the next question is which organization is hosting the moes that is ministry of earth sciences uh, essdp earth system science data portal so which organization is hosting this portal the right answer is option c indian national center for ocean information services now through this portal even the general people can also receive the data related to earth science where are the new commercial cum strategic petroleum res, uh, storage facilities established under the phase 2 of strategic petroleum resource program so guys under the phase 1 3 uh, three facilities were set up first in padur second in bangalore and third in visakhapatnam Visakhapatnam is in Andhra Pradesh Mangalore is in Karnataka Padur is also in Karnataka now in the phase 2 in Odisha and Karnataka two new strategic petroleum reserves are also being established so in Odisha Chandi Khol is the exact place you have to remember the exact places also whenever this program is concerned so Chandi Khol is in Odisha and Padur is the same place so in karnataka now padur is the only place that is going to have two strategic petroleum storage facilities under this program so you have to remember this as well okay so in this phase 2 these two at these two places this these facilities will be set up for what purpose has ministry of social justice and empowerment launched the i misa scheme so this scheme is for uh, social audits of its own scheme Which state has launched Mission Niryatak Bano to promote aspiring exporters in the state? So it is Rajasthan. Which of the following objective is envisaged to be fulfilled by Agri Stack? So increment in farmers' income, improvement in efficiency of agriculture sector, effective government planning and coordination for increasing farmer income to create a digital ecosystem of agriculture all of these purposes will be fulfilled by this agri stack so the right answer is all of the above now remember that this is a planned uh, planned initiative a planned portal that is expected to be launched by the government but the work on developing this portal even that has not been started yet so it is just in the news that you need to know this much is in the news that you need to know which of the following companies has signed an mou with ifco for transfer of technology of na liquid nano urea the right answer is option d national fertilizer limited and rashtriya chemicals and fertilizers nano urea is very important is a very important fertilizer so this question is important how much share does india hold in terms of agriculture exports in the world according to wto's latest data so it is 3.1% and by contributing 3.1% in the agriculture export in the world india stands at ninth position the first position is held by european union second one is us and third one is brazil so approximately uh, 16% something is contributed by european union in the agriculture export market at the international level 13% or something is contributed by us and 7% by brazil 
and india stands at the ninth position so which country is replaced by india it is new zealand earlier new zealand was ninth but right now it is uh, india which is the ninth largest contributor in the agriculture export market of the world what is the employment rate in 2019 to 2020 as per the plfs that is periodic labor force survey that has been recently launched so let us have a look at the table because all of these figures are very important overall unemployment rate is 4.8% and these were the figures for the previous two uh, plfs surveys work population ratio was 38.2% labor participation ratio was 40.1% women unemployment rate was 4.2% which has uh, reduced drastically from 5.7% to 4.2%. So now the right answer to this question is option B, 4.8%. And here this session ends. I hope that you have uh, learned something during the session. The questions, uh, the session has helped you in memorizing the questions and revising all the information. Thank you so much for watching the session.